Welcome to the official AFL Fantasy Podcast with the Traders. G'day with the Traders. Thanks to Sportsbet. I'm Roy. I coach Destroy and I'm here with Warney. Coach of the Warn Dogs. And Jesus sucks when you're You know what? About. I'm back <laughs> just like your voice, Roy. It's yeah, very strong yeah. today. It's, uh, I can still, you know, I can feel a couple of vocal cords. You shouldn't actually <laughs> feel them, so That's I correct. can still feel them. I'll have a couple of squeaks every now yeah. and then, but hey, you can hear me now. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Won't be the worst noise we hear. We've actually got some drilling happening out in front of us today too, so <laughs> don't don't worry yes. about us when you hear that, especially if uh, Calvin doesn't speak for a couple of minutes. But um, <laughs> <laughs> just, it almost feels like when they go, it's like more bullets to our fantasy 100% team. hundred percent That's it what is. it's like. But uh, it is, round 12 is coming up, and this is the first of our buy rounds, and Often I get excited about mm, the buy yeah, because you can move, you That's can do chance. some things, but this year it doesn't feel like that, uh, not even through lack of planning. It's just yeah. the fact that we have copped it no. pretty badly this week and could be ugly for a lot of teams despite the planning this year because, I, firstly, I don't think there are many teams that are rocking with 28, 29, 30 green dots. No. That's one thing, let alone issues out of this weekend, let alone just... The spread of the buys, mm. it's made it really weird. There's yeah, only four teams on it this week. I know. Yet Feels like one of the hardest we're ones. We're struggling a little it's bit. like... Well, I am anyway. More full <laughs> us for planning. Like, you yeah. always cop a whack for being organised, don't you? Yeah. And yeah. it feels like that's happening at the moment. But, dog, like you said, it is a chance to move, mm. hopefully in the right direction. I used to... This is self-proclaimed. But I used to be the buy king. The buy king! It used to be my time to attack. Right. Now, the last two years, I haven't quite lived up to my name. Right. So I need to be back. You're I need right. to put the crown well, back we'll on. Well, we'll do what we can. These are the rules if you don't know them as yet. So we've got four teams on the buy this week, which is Brisbane, Fremantle, St Kilda and Sydney. Now, four teams on the buy. Any of these buy rounds, and we've got four weeks of them, they go right through to round 15, is that we'll get three trades for each week. So if you've already clicked on there and had a look at your uh, yep. trades this week, you'll notice there's three opportunities to uh, make your team we better like or worse. We need um, And <laughs> then the other thing is that only your best 18 scorers count for the week. So the biggest thing to know about that is that they come from your 22 on field, and Cal, you were talking about you might even have seven defenders in one of the weeks, for yeah, example. So that's not good plan. Um, <laughs> it's not. Hopefully, you've got some DPP that you can move around to do that. But basically, you can't count a bench player unless they are covering for a zero on field. So that's the only way that that can work. The other little uh, thing, and this goes into you and your territory, Calvinator. Yep. Is that buy players don't lock until the last game of the round. So therefore you can trade them across the weekend. Yep. Also, you can do some of that switcheroo stuff for VC loophole things as well. So everyone has the easiest loophole captain options this week. Yes. Will we nail them though? Yes, you will with my help, you will. Where was your help last week? Yeah. You didn't help me can't, much last can't week. Can't do everything for you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the other things that we do have, um, or the news, was DPP. We had our second lot drop last night. Sunday night they came through, and probably not a huge amount of big names. The biggest oh, name, though, is Jack McRae gaining Ford status. So that, was, that wasn't the biggest one, dog. He was big there. Uh, Dusty Burn jones got a lot of characters in his name. Um, dog, come on, get to him. <laughs> so Roy got Matt Kennedy. There you go. <laughs> Was expecting Method VFL the as, his, uh, <laughs> as his DPP, but he's gained that defender status, which is not why you picked him up. Oh, come on. If it was knew, part of it. <laughs> if he was going to track enough to get defender status, I wouldn't have you wouldn't have picked him <laughs> you were in your on. side. Come uh, on, Voss. I guess there's a few um, relevant ones in the sense of draft is one part of it, but also for uh, your flexibility for your team. So one of those, Ben Hobbs has been a popular pick for everyone else except for the bloke that suggested it. Whoop, whoop. Um, Thanks, man. So yeah. he's got the midfield status, which might help you over the buys uh, in some way. Old mate Dylan williams Cow, your boy. My boy. Uh, he has gained defender status because that's the role that And he legend is status. Two right he has. And Cult status. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably about it. So yep. not a lot there. A couple of the big ones. So some people were hoping that Short would get defender sense, but he's had that midfield role yeah. hard again. So Very disappointing. I, thought I was confident there. Yep. And the other one is Max Gone. Oh. Now, this is brutal. Tracking for that Ruck Ford status <laughs> in his tandem setup with Grundy. 
it just kept eking away. He was he had it. He had he it. He had it. He had it. And then zero point one percent is recount. what he missed out on. Wow. That ridiculous. Is, that was like was how that, confident are so they? So that could yes. have been I don't know the maths on it. It's like but one. he could have had a yeah. couple of extra center yeah. bounces where he was I'm oh, sorry, a couple of center bounces yes. where he was in the forward line. Yep. Could have had the Look, forward status. Only he would have taken one. Yep. Unbelievably close. Uh, are, are you disappointed for his owners? No, not at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I be? Jeez, that's not very nice. No, it's is a it? brutal game. It's dog eat dog world. <laughs> it is a dog eat dog world. Too right it is. We might talk about a dog Speaking that got of. you. <laughs> Too right. 2,237 this week. He's and the back. top scorer Thank out you. of us, Cal. Thank you. I will you put... smoked it. Yeah, I did. And I you've did. rocketed up the rankings to rocket. 70,000. Hey! <laughs> Hey, that, that small is. steps, dog. It is. You know what? I'm coming for you. That's yeah. why you're oh, that's worried. Every chance. I'm only six thousand behind. To slowly pull the dog in, shorten the lead, bring him in. You got Roy by about eighty, so twenty-one fifty-nine for you. Destroy. You mm. slid a bit to the sixteen oh, uh, sixteen hundredth. It's a good three hundred spots. Mm. And the Warn Dogs ended up with a twenty-one oh four. So I slid outside the top ten thousand. I'd like to say. Well, that is the first time I've slid out of the top 10,000, but just being where I have been all year, so unlucky. Here it is! That's what you did, Jenny. You stuck it right up them. Go, Cow. Do you want me to go? go yeah, Cal. man. Because we it's are about you here. today. No, it's not about me. Look. It's more about James oh. the dog. <laughs> Woo! Sicily! <laughs> At least this... Oh, okay, we'll get to how it ended, but... No, no, no. We're going to avoid that. 43 touches, 16 marks. This is what they do against St Kilda. And yeah. the dog ate more than his fair share under the roof. Look, he was awesome. Um, can't say it wasn't predictable. Well, I'll tell you what. In in your AFL media circles, it wasn't predictable. In fantasy circles, no. everyone's gone... The dog hasn't eaten all week, and yeah. he's going to make up for it. Oh, <laughs> in that matchup. Yep, and definitely. God, he it's did. Di- it just wasn't surprising. No, but he didn't disappoint either. No, he didn't let us down. He, he could have been a little ninety or a one ten. He, he ate a yeah. lot. He, he did. ate a lot. <laughs> it's like yeah. smacko after smacko after yeah, smacko. Yeah, he just didn't stop. So it's once like again, he needs a week off after eating all that. I reckon. <laughs> Too right. <laughs> what, yeah. what this proves, though, yeah, is scale of hardness on point. Yeah. 100%. Captains on point. Should have vice captain. Why didn't you do that? That's the one thing I'm actually disappointed. And I, well. With you, Calvin. Yeah, I didn't hit a six on this one. It. No, you didn't. I was hitting sixes all weekend. And yeah. I know. And I went to bed last night. I feel less of a person. Yeah, yeah. And that's, <laughs> like, it's justified. Yeah. You really messed that up. Yeah, I You did. are hitting sixes. Yep. And that was a And s- you just waiting you to pushed happen. that one for two. It was right in my slot. It was. And I nearly just let it go yeah. through to the keeper. Yeah, so anyway, it's this dog. I'm telling all about Sick Dog Cow Show here, but um, he was <laughs> elite. <laughs> good. He was elite. I even sent a reverse rocket out. I wanted someone to what muzzle him. What did you him. do? I, tro- I called for a muzzle, the pound, anything. <laughs> someone <laughs> just get that dog off the ground. Right, right. Cow. And then we- he did something. <laughs> We will <laughs> too right. talk about him a little bit later, though. I don't for think, all of us non-owners. I don't think we need to talk about him. Later. We will. Roy, where would you go with your <laughs> plus three? My plus three. You love a big score on debut. You do. An instant reward. Yeah, especially when it's a guy who didn't sit well not starting with him, kissed a little bit because he's dropped in price, but he's back to his best. Lady in for a 131. He's been very good he has. lately. That's seven in a row, I think. Yeah. That's mm. 16 tackles. Yeah. 16 tackles is amazing. Is he in any trouble this week? Oh, it People will be looked at. As tackles. It will be looked at. And given my luck, yes, he'll probably get a week. <laughs> but um, no, he should be fine. And similar to a few weeks ago where I've done my homework um, and I got out the old textbooks, he should get off. Mm-hmm. Mm. If he doesn't get off that, yeah. I will be the saddest man. I tell you what, though, fantasy. if he did that a few weeks ago yep. in that patch where they tried to set make an example, yep. like the Will Day yep. two week patch, which was ridiculous. Yep. If it was back then, he'd get at least one week. You're probably I right. I think now, and given the biomechanics of it that I have yep. written the notes about, are you ready to go help he, him if required? If required, you will. But I think they're smart enough now to know it's. No. Okay. Just to watch what you're doing. 
Fair enough. Mm. Uh, I was going to give mine to Tim Taranto for his 145. Yes. But it really hurt not having this captain, so I couldn't do it. <laughs> Don't you read Cowan's captains? I do. Oh, okay. I did. Oh, fair enough. He I was just... very good, wasn't he? We should really mention that. that Where did you late... have him in Cowan's captains? Uh, he was number four. Uh, okay, remembering. so I went the guy that was ranked higher than him. Was Who was captain. that? So oh, that's why I read you. Cowan's Who was that? captains. Zach Merritt. Oh, you should have read it on, on earlier in the week, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Before Merritt... So in. we talk about stat stuffing lines. Yeah. When you feel that with four goals at the end oh, of it, yeah. playing mm. mid, that's bloody that hats good. off stuff. Definitely in the top one hundred and fifty. Do you reckon he's there now? Dog? In the club. God, that, look, that's just that is just showing how ridiculous that is now. Especially when the most critical thing about him is his kicking, yeah. and he's put four through the big sticks. Yep. As a midfielder, yeah. good player. I think um, he can kick okay. But I didn't give it to him because I didn't have him as my captain. No, so I'm giving fair. it to Will that's Day, fair. actually. Will Day. He's got to remember that we yes. paid not a lot for him and yes. he's ticking along. And it's a great in my three. team of averageness, which yep. is what it was this week, I just didn't have the big dogs. I think Taranto and Laird there were probably my two best scorers without much else going on. Um, just getting a ton. Yes. That's good there. All right, let's go the other way. Oh, man down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, still up. It was the most disgraceful display I've ever seen. Because it's just not acceptable. I'm not sure if that's coming through at the moment. They're using a, uh, a jackhammer outside. <laughs> Either that or a Tommy gun. One well, of the two. <laughs> right. speaking of which, we need to talk about the rat pasta. Oh, who, oh. Uh, right, who brought him up I actually, can't, a month ago? I cannot split Roy, them. I think that's my Roy, fault. you can wear that. I'll wear that. This that- is... That's not acceptable. It's not. It's not even football. <laughs> Combined for 63. Wow. 63. They practised with a soapy ball. Those two left the soap on their hands. Fiorini was out there 92% of the game. 92% for would, 33 points. He would be elite at dodgeball. Yep. <laughs> Atkins got subbed, but still, he played 66% of the game time. He had his chances. The, the problem is... Gosh. The problem is... And we probably will address this later. Do they hold their spot? This is the issue. Because I've crystal balled it and I've got a theory that I'm very comfortable with. Okay. Although he dodged the ball for 92% of the game. Yep. <laughs> oh, my God. If the fact he was still out there. That's high time he, on ground. It is humongous. So they must have been not totally disappointed with something he was doing, even if it was just holding the wing. They Anything forgot about him, I think. To f- that's what to happened. rotate him. He just hit out there. So anyway, dog, I'm trying to sleep at night <laughs> oh thinking I've got 18 this week. Fiorini holds. Okay. Okay. They've been praising him up the last few weeks, yes. even though he hasn't been doing a, a whole lot, to yeah, be yeah. honest. <laughs> this wasn't much different. So mm. he holds. Okay. okay. Rat pasta. The rat part of the pasta dish that yes. is now cause you to vomit. Yep. Rat's gone. Yeah. Because he's gone. Rat and subbed out. Rat was out there doing nothing. Yep. I'm with you. And then he gets subbed out. That is just his transition into the Magoos and the wilderness never to be seen again. Yeah, he's done. He's e- done. Ever. Yeah. ever. Yeah. And that's a sad day for Rat. He may get a vest at some stage and he'll be one of those ones that they don't sub on it unless they have an injury. <laughs> now, <laughs> our man Fish is up there at the moment. Right. So we're going to have him on the case all week. We need to find out we what's do. going on. Imagine there. asking the coach questions about, oh, you know, Atkins and Fiorini, did they do enough to hold their spot? In other words, saying, yeah, they looked terrible. They were no good. <laughs> Look. But they won. Fish, they won. He knows how to be discreet. So there is that. That's yes. the flip side. Yes. That's where a minor miracle can happen with things like that because that's a huge win up there. Yeah. Yeah. So that is where minor miracles can happen, dog. And rat attack. They should have done some more training, in. cow, with the slippery balls. I don't think the slippery balls were a factor for those two. What you have said. How many that's, marks did they drop? That would be interesting. God, they don't count drop marks. No, that's what I mean. <laughs> the, yeah, I know. The key to this is the win. That's enough to save one out of I the two. I think so. You can't but, swing But then the dog on the flip side who says, there's, and we'll get to it later, but there's good players in the Magoos. Yep. Racking and, up some... And they travel. So you can always get a bit stronger. So that's where one... You can justify one change in and the win. You said, dog, they're all up there. Yeah, because the Magoos played up there. See, that's so not the whole squad's up there. Very disappointing. If they, yeah, if 
They didn't take the old club up there. They wouldn't buy a better chance. <laughs> they wouldn't have the budget. No, exactly. <laughs> right. Put it into a Tasmanian team. Oh, well, that's uh, my negative three yeah, times and two. And it was very interesting. So one. it's a negative six if you want to add it up. That right. Roy. You just don't combine for 63 <laughs> no, between don't. two of you. You don't. What round is well, it? Well, I think we'll swing Why over. are they on our ground? I don't know. Let's Why swing are over they there. so unique? I thought everyone had them. Warney's negative three God. outscored both of them. Yeah. Dog. Oh, have mercy. Stalker. See? Stalker. He even outscored them all. Stalker's been going at 100 for me last game. Yeah, <laughs> no. See, that's the thing. I'm not even back in stock. 64 compared to those that's two. Great. Yeah. Captain material. Well, it's one you didn't How suggest come he that dropped one off? He was, he was had a good first <laughs> I thought first it was half. the match-up as well. Hawthorne. Yep. Yeah. But Hawthorne won. That's the other side of it. And well, that's honestly. true too. I forget that. Hawthorne. I never checked the actual scores. No, I don't check the How'd score. you go with your tipping this week? It was a tough week. <laughs> Bad. Bad. Well, I got a Especially couple. Especially because I forgot till the middle of the round to actually put mine in. Oh, so I don't get the away team either. Better. No, oh, that's no. the problem. You get nothing. Yep. Yeah, bad yeah. so it should be with tipping. I hate when people get tips and they don't even tip. Talk about kissed. Yeah, that's yeah. ridiculous. Um, so Liam Stocker dog. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Roy, who's yours? Look, this is a bit controversial. Okay, because you shouldn't technically do it. This is worse than giving it to a rookie. But I got to give it to Mihal. <laughs> to Dars. To Dars. Oh, you can't do I that. Have Sean to. Darcy. So thirty-four. You can't be. You can't be. Coming, you know, ranked about a thousand and carry a primo for thirty. Now, Premium? as I've said, oh, yeah, how oh dare you? No, he has been. So good. I always, I talk to him before the games and I say, you've just got to get within twenty of English until I can trade you to English. But I don't tell him that last bit, right? Okay. But when you're down thirty, that's my third thirty for the week. Mm-hmm. Top ranked teams can't be doing that. No. Do you want to hear about the rocket I sent him? Please. All right. He had 13 at quarter time, dog. Yeah, not good. And I, I just can't be taking that because you know what Timmy time English is going to be doing later in the round. So I thought I'm loading this one up for the big fella. Um, so I fired the rocket and I gave, you know, I gave him wording around the fact I understand it's a tough matchup. Yep. Yeah, we're against the big two, but 13, completely unacceptable. Anyway... It fired and it hit him hard. Oh. Mm. So in the next five minutes, he went like plus 21 and he was back on track for a ton even. Right. right? But what he didn't think about, I didn't mean it like do it all straight away. I understand he's like a big (laughs) diesel. He just needs to turn it up and slowly. You don't just put the foot down. The hammy. You cooked him. That big dust. (laughs) You cooked him. Yep, yep. He blew it. Blew a gasket. Because of your rocket? Yeah, he, it hit him too hard. Oh, my goodness. So, I was saying last night, you got to sometimes think about who you're firing him at. Yeah. I should have sent a pigeon to Dan <laughs> and just <laughs> said, just <laughs> turn it up slowly. <laughs> slowly, Don't mate. just go bang, 100%. Yeah, yeah the it, hammy wasn't up to it. Oh. Oh, I, was, I felt sick. I felt like I was back on the... X Airy Island when I saw the ice on the hammy. I reckon. Mm. I can't wait for the day I'm just going to sit down on the couch and I'm checking Twitter and you've sent one of your players pigeon. a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't muck around in the ruck department. That's the moral of the story yep. again. Yep. All right. Two points short of a 2,500 was the winner for the week. Greg's team experts. Um, and that was a nice little side there with James Sicily loop-de-dooped oh. on... He did it. Yeah, how nice was that? Gosh. So to be able to roll with that one there. Um, some nice scores across the board for uh, the team. So well done on that uh, yeah, nearly 2,500 score. Jeez. The current leader is Jonathan with Fleabagger sitting right up there still. Matt Mottram's moved into fifth. Oh, God, oh, look at him go. <laughs> As he does. So, And when I, I have a look at these Sneaky. and look at the uh, team value of some of these top teams, I'm near... I'm over a meal less than these big dogs. It's not good. That's a lot of money. Really? Is, that's how. See, oh, just they're good the nailing though. rookies. They're going have okay, so well. I've got, I've got it now. Matt Mottram, you know, former winner. Mm-hmm. I wonder if he's planned for the buys. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Do you reckon Actually, he go back and listen to the podcast from last week with him. He Very would good. see it as a time to attack. Oh, he's coming out first. Oh no! And then Holden. Yep. All those. Are, oh wow. Yep. Must be stressful up there. Uh, Mount Gambier yeah. Metatarsals. Couldn't do it. Jaden's team is sitting 100th at the moment, so you need 24,389 points. So, okay. 24, 389. 
it's near a thousand for the dogs. Yeah, hey, it's buy rounds, dog. Is that all? Buy rounds. Buy Time rounds, to attack, do dog. Crazy things. Crazy Not things happen when, when you're buyers. struggling for eighteen each week. You'll be it's right. It's going to be right. an hey. issue. This is sneaky attack dog time. Isn't it ever? Do you mm. think I can? Yeah. Yes, Let's I, I do. No, I don't think I can either. Michael Barlow medal, cash cow of the year. Five votes for round 11. Will Phillips. Yeah. Wow, your old boy. Whoa. Fantastic game Woo. on Sunday. Had 29 disposals, five tackles. Plenty of contested stuff. One of those important midfielders for them. Harry Sheasel had 82. Looked at one point he might have got subbed off, but no. 21 disposals, six marks, and that has him at almost 800 games. Whoa, holy hat. Huge. Uh, Bailey Humphrey scored 72. Um, added another 55k this week. That nice buy that he's got. He had a great goal up in Darwin to help secure the Suns win there. Seamus Mitchell. He had a 70 with with 20 disposals, five marks in the Hawks' upset win against the Saints. And then Matthew Johnson, 68 for him. He had 20 disposals for the Dockers. Yeah, He's got right. plenty of value still. He's only at 349k. Could be an option. Mm. Sheasel is out front at the moment with the, on the leaderboard with 44 votes. And we've got Will Ashcroft is sitting there in second place on 25. Here's the news of the week you need to know on the official AFL Fantasy Podcast. A lot of news. Where do we want to start? I've got a spot. Cal, you talked up your sick dog Oh, before. see. You talked him up. I nearly gave him the plus three, negative three, all in one action. Yeah, and that's fair. Oh, yeah. The sick dog. Um, I hope they challenge it. Not much in that. Sick dog. <laughs> Has been well, suspended watch, by one week by the defense. MRO. I apologise straight away he did, he when I knocked his head off. He apologised straight away. He went down pretty, uh, pretty big. Oh, <laughs> put a bit of mail on it, I reckon. <laughs> um, so uh, we'll, let's start with MRO. So Sicily yeah. one week, Omir has copped a week, Parker a week, and also Adam Chera. Oh, good for Kennedy. Ooh. However, we'll talk some Carlton stuff in a moment, Roy. Um, oh, we oh. did talk about Sean Darcy there with that hamstring. So we don't know much more about that, but that big fella. He's got the bye this week. Yeah. So he has come back from these alleged soft <laughs> alleged. tissue injuries before within a week, which yes. is bizarre. Yeah. Doesn't strike me as a fast healer, but no. the guy, he has done it before. Yeah. Mm. So we'll have to see whether he is there. Now, Carlton are decimated. They've lost Hewitt with concussion. One Nick way to Newman describe <laughs> With a hamstring. Oliver Holland's a shoulder. See, that might have been for some people just holding him through the buys too. 100%. Um, Patrick Cripps, an ankle, and Chera, as we mentioned there, suspended as mm. well. So, yes, good for you, Kennedy, Roy. But who's he replaced? Is he going to the back line to replace Newman? <laughs> Look, mate, that's the issue. That's mm. the issue. Um, so, <clears throat> no, there's more midfielders under a cloud. So... <laughs> Well, firstly, spot in the side should be safe now. But, yep. yeah, hopefully it's into the midfield. Other injuries. We saw Hunter Clark subbed out very early, only on three points with mm. a knee issue there. Jack Higgins hurt his finger. Now, Seamus Mitchell, he did get votes there before mm. in the Michael Barlow medal for the cash cow of the year. He had his 70 points, but had a knee knock late in the game. So that's one that you might need to monitor because you've probably bought into him. Mm. Well, obviously you've bought into him as a cash cow going through these buys as well. One definitely to monitor. Um, Asaba Radagalia, some hammy tightness for him. Dom Sheed, oh, oh no. after a brilliant game the week before. Could have launched into that yeah, as a by play. You could. So he has a bit of a leg issue going on there. Luke Edwards was concussed in that game as well. Dylan Shew was a laid out. So I uh, well, don't know what they end up calling it, but remember he was sort of hurt his ankle, mm. but he was out last week at, um, because of a car. Oh, sorry, a calf, a corked calf. Yeah. Um, so anyway, he was out again and still side bottom. Devastating for him. The MCL in yeah. the first quarter in his. Bloody 300th game. That was a bummer. Hmm. He has been a legend of the game. A couple of players being subbed out was an issue as well. Mm. Like So especially for uh, just that job security. We talked about the Ratkins before. <laughs> yeah, that's one there. But you've also got like a Samson Ryan, a Cade Chandler. Does this put these guys oh, my boy. on that outer when you thought, oh, yeah, I'll trade them at their buy. Two right yeah. Yeah. But, mm. That's a big problem. It, it is. Yeah. They're just not going to be, one, reliable yep. through that time, and they're going to drop in cash. You mm. might just have to pull the pin. Yeah. 
100%. Uh, now, some of the Magoo's news out of the weekend. Blues are decimated. Could it be time for oh, Paddy Dow to come back in? It's never 33 not. disposals, <laughs> one goal, five marks, six tackles, 125 points. It's never not time for Paddy. Uh, is Fisher and O'Brien ahead of him? They had one thirty. 100%. Well and truly. Um, your mate Sheldrick Roy, he could come in for you. Do you still have him? Oh, I certainly do. 114. He's stuck there. He can 200K. Rack. He can yeah. at the lower level. He's a right bit of a Paddy Dow 2.0 at the yeah. moment. So we talked about the Ratkins and Fiorini and their shaky spots in the side. Um, Brandon Ellis had 114, 23 disposals, two goals, seven mm. marks, five tackles. So like, that, they, both, they were both playing a wing role, that essentially. Happens. That happens. He comes in for uh, Ratkins. Yes, Oh, Ken Flanders come in. He had a ton. Constable almost had a ton. I don't think Constable's coming in, but... It, it's it's a it's an issue. It's Ellis for Rat. Okay. And this is the thing. We can do all the planning we want now leading up to Thursday night, and then it just gets flipped on its head. Mm. I'm telling you now, plan for Ellis in, Rat out. I think you Only change. Thursday night teams. Fish Make needs sure to you're get on that. in live. Fish needs to get onto this. Badly. We need squirts. Uh, right, other ones. The Lions, they're a very stacked team in the Magoos. They are. Got like Dev Robertson. Um, he had 21 tackles. 21 tackles! <laughs> Beg right. your pardon. Uh, in his 137 points. Like Lions just racks up uh, 123. Even our mate Sharpie Roy got a ton with 23 disposals. Good on you. And two goals. Um, but they've obviously got the buy coming up this week. Yeah. So that's what we've got. Now, uh, Oliver Dempsey might be one to watch for the Cats. Could be a nice cheap option there um, at, oh, I don't know what he's at, sorry. Um, 27 disposals, he had one goal and 104 points. But he might potentially come mm. into the side. Um, and Ned Longroy. <laughs> Ned. Not Noah. The Ned Noah. Variety. He had the biggest score in the VFL this week. 151 he had. Uh, 34 disposals, three goals, nine tackles, and 151. Wow. Huge. Good effort. Good effort. Thanks if you're listening to us on Apple Podcasts or um, wherever else you can listen to podcasts. There's lots of places you can do that, Spotify. But we did get some reviews um, recently, and I did want to read one out here from Shizen's Happy 600th. Well yeah. done on the 600, boys. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Roy Calvin, you've aged like fine wine. Warning, <laughs> you've aged like milk. <laughs> Shizens. You know that bloke plays in my school league. Good. That's what you get. He's a peanut. It's <laughs> going to be some workplace bullying coming up this week. <laughs> Cal Toomey here. Join me and Riley Beveridge each week for Gettable, the definitive source for everything you need to know about player movement, trade, draft, free agents, contracts, the ins and outs of who is Gettable. We'll share the off-field stories that will shape your team's future on the field. Get Gettable, available round one, wherever you listen to podcasts. All right, round 12, trading strategy as our Jack Emma. <laughs> which is very apt for what this yes. trade strategy is going to be at this point because this is the hardest week of trading of the buys because whoever you get in has a buy coming up. Yep. Mm-hmm. So... The strategy after this week, for anyone unaware of that, is getting players that have had their buy. So it's the uh, simple way to play the game going through. This is a bit different this year than other years because we've got four teams on the buy this week. We've got two teams next week. So we have this block of four weeks of buys. Usually it's um, just three weeks with six, six, and six teams, but it's now four weeks with four, two, six, and six. So what are your simple thoughts for this week? Who... What are we targeting? What sort of players? Where are they coming from? Okay, rule number one. Make sure you've got 18. Yep. Okay, right. you must have 18 this week. Do whatever you need to to make sure you've got 18. And the other thing you want to try to do is have a little bit of cash in the bank if you can. Yeah. I think if you can tick off those two boxes, yep. you're setting yourself up well for next week. Yeah, that, that's a fair call. Like, we all always say try to be a little bit heavier in the back end yep. because – what, through the four-week now period, dog, you're trying to probably roll a few of those players out and you should be, yeah. you should be right by that, um, that last and one. And ideally, but those back-end ones, you, you're hopefully getting rid of players that are, um, that are those mid-price or yes. those rookies that have maxed out in price. So, 100%, like, if we're yes. looking across there, let's look at round 15 for the example there. Um, Carlton, 
I'd be getting Kennedy out. For Kennedy example. out is good for you. For yep. uh, the Giants, Cal, you've uh, got my mate uh, Callahan. Callahan. North Melbourne, it could be if and we'll talk about Hugh Greenwood in a moment. Yeah. But like it could be if you've got a play like that. I don't think you're doing it with Sheasel though. I, that's hey, everyone's you, on my chopping block. That you round, even talked about Zebel Band. Yep, on they the can both. Block I family. yeah, they can both be looked at when 100%. it comes to that boy. Well, if you're sitting on seventeen players, yep. in that round, and you've got one trade. Yep. One of them can go to another premium for If me. you can flip Sheasel to Doherty or Sheasel to Dawson yeah, with a little be. bit of coin, why wouldn't you do that? I would, yes. Because you want to do it from rookies. Yeah. He is a rookie. He's Snap. Not. He's not. <laughs> not when you're top 10. <laughs> no, no I, look, I, I understand. He's in the role on 22. And there's, <coughs> a, gr- there's a great they argument, obviously, are, for not doing it. But I'm just saying, at that point, desperate times, desperate measures, yeah. and he, he, those guys <coughs> and can be looked the, at. The problem is... Of all those players we've got in that buy, so many are mm. premiums. That yes. There's going to have to be a premiums head roll. Port Adelaide have some premiums like a Butters, like a Rosie, for example. Dill Will might be a good guy to go at that time, I guess, yep. um, out of them. Then you've got Richmond, and you're never trading Tim Taranto, who is owning the ton run at the moment, 11 in a row. Can he get to 17? That's yes. what um, – Yeah. Yes, Tom Mitchell did. Uh, so, but a Samson Ryan is a, a guy that hopefully he's playing, although he was subbed out last week. Yeah, um, if he runs through to there, that's a perk one. And then you've got the Bulldogs. Artie Jones, you might go and cash out and make hundred grand out of him. He's account. a keeper, mate. He's a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> but that's sort of your yes. aim. You don't want to be trading out your uh, premiums. So in an no. ideal world, you do want to keep your Sheasel yeah, and Sheasel cow that you are flagging as possible trade guys. Yep. But... We might be left with no choice then to move yeah. some of those guys. You might have to prioritise who the who the worst of your premiums well, yeah. are. That, and, that's, and that's why someone like, <clears throat> as harsh as it is, Zebel, yeah. he's the oldest of the pack. Yeah. You know what they do out in the wild? <laughs> They're the ones that get dropped <laughs> off. Who are you, um, like seriously out of those two, Zebel and Sheasel? I'd probably keep the youth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm with you. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so trading this week is tough because we need to get in players that have got a buy coming up. We've always been talking about that good buy. Yes. Now, that is the round 13 buy because Mm. it's just Gold Coast and Geelong. Now, we launched into some players like the best one out of all of them is the Tom Stewart. If you don't have Tom Stewart, he should be a target. So we'll talk a little bit like your Sicily trade, but if you don't have Tom Stewart, that's the easy He's the, the most only, simple one. That he's you the want. only Geelong guy at the moment actually doing anything. Yeah. yeah. But the so, only other, yeah. Sorry. What I was going to say, like you said, Dog, the, the thing that really sucks at the moment this round is getting someone in mm. who is going to have their buy. Yep. It feels like if you still get one of those Geelong or Gold yeah. Coast guys, it almost feels like you're not getting someone with a buy because. You we can should. cover that one easily. I think there'll be a I lot think. of teams that will have 22 that week. Yeah. So, I think that's, so and that's so you're dropping off some of those poor mm. scores. Um, so then this is the thing for that. Oyson Mullen, the Irishman, yes. who came in for debut, he will be the most traded in player this week because yep. he's on that buy. Mm-hmm. Everyone's probably got some form of dead weight of a defender yep. to be able to move, whether that's a non-playing player or... You know, a Darcy Wilmot on a buy or someone like that. Grab. So yep. you can actually be making some coin from that. While we're looking at Geelong, can I throw a name at you that oh, I'm not completely sold on, but we like throwing Everyone's names. up for grabs right, through the definitely. buys. Tanner Bruin, mid <sighs> forward. What is he, 550-ish? He's 550-ish. What did he score in the end? He was pretty good. He had a, last week, he had a 79 and did it in about 50-something percent game. Is that good time. or bad, though? That's I don't with know. That. What is with that? So basically, when he was on the ground, he attended nearly every CBA. He was a midfielder, right? Yeah. The I problem is, I don't get that. He's not on the ground much. The week before, though, he scores a ninety. Did he? So I'm just saying, for a guy with that buy, what was his clock in that one? With the mid forward status. Oh, I have to get, dig deep to find that. But um, I just think it, at that price, he I'll could a be a guy to sort of plug a little hole. He could be anyone else for them. No one else, I don't think for. Uh, for Geelong. Mm, okay, so let's We look have at, more at the at Suns. The Suns. So the Suns, we've got their... We've got our rat passer that we got tricked into um, doing that because they've disappointed us, obviously, on the weekend. Yep. 61%. And 
Yeah. He doesn't get on the ground. He's no, got no tank. You can't do it. <clears throat> no. no. So, looking at... Yeah, so looking at those guys, uh, Matt Rao is an option. He's yes, been he good. 100% he has. So, he is an option there. Now, I, I still think Anderson is, despite yeah. his poorer showings in the last few weeks. He's been disappointed. If you were really looking at that. But you'd want him almost to be that bit cheaper now because he got himself... He was in form. Mm. People jumped. Well, he's got eighty. He's gone at eighty five in his last three. Yeah, yeah. And he's now under nine hundred k. Yeah. Wow. But with that form, like you'd like it to be cheaper because what's his break even then on that? One forty two. Yeah, that's right. Like, yeah, I know. You there's mean. still that part of you that you don't want to be paying that much for someone who could be getting cheaper. That, but he, it feels like he's too far gone to be that play. Yeah. At yep, the moment, yep. with that break even. So um, <clears throat> he's there. Other options. Bailey Humphrey. I still think you can go. So, I, at, well, at 478. Oh, 470, is it? Yeah. I mean, but, it's getting high, but he's getting it done. It's he a good is, buy and he's got that, And he's got the mid-forward status, he, so you've got that flexibility with that as well. He goes up 50K a week with a break-even of 10. Mm. Like, yeah. Even if you just want to put stand beyond that. Yes. Yeah. It's so you can have him play. over the four weeks of the buys. Obviously yeah. Obviously playing in three of those on the, on the harder buy rounds to field. Good point. I'm looking at that. That's got to be a good option there. Mm. Anyone else? From those guys? I don't think so. No, I wouldn't think so. So it probably is some strategy if you can launch into those guys. Now, there are some other names that have been floating around, and this will be buy round dependent for coaches. Yeah. Elliot Yo scored an 84. That was his first back, wasn't it? <sighs> was it? Yeah, it must have been. Yeah, was. he wasn't down here last week. Would you seriously do that? <clears throat> Look. Roll was good. Ability and roll are a massive tick. He's cheap. Round 14 buy. He had bulk CBAs and Sheed might even be out. Yeah, okay. 84. It's I'm, As a previous Yo owner. Oh, look. We know it is not going to be a smooth ride. 560K. Mm. It is so cheap. It is. Now, around that similar price as well, but with midfield status, is Hugh Greenwood, who obviously had a great score. He's 537K. Now, he's their main man in the midfield. 100%. So he's coming off 114 and 87, and even 75 the week before that, which is certainly um, well um, so, above what he's priced at. So what's he played under rats twice? Yeah. And they'd be probably his two best scores for the year. 87 one fourteen, yes. Um, and it, hopefully he's, the vest is gone. So he's got a break even of 14. So you know you're getting him at a good time. They've got the round 15 buy. Yes. And I know people are worried about that. And if it is a concern, like you, that's where you've got to make that choice whether you can do it or not. But he could be a perfect guy to roll for three weeks, make yourself a good 100 and something, score 80 plus yeah. each week. Like, what do you think he could score? It feels like I he's he going to go at I 90, think he can 95 average 90. for that Yeah, he time. can average 90 in that time. Yeah, which <clears throat> if you can then get away with not having – if you can then get away with having 18 in round 15, yep. that's been a good play. Yeah. Thing is, he's going up 50K a week as well. Mm. So by the time we get to that point, he would be around well, so, 700 So mark. if you had to split um, between him and Humphreys, yeah. it's – Hugh's going to outscore him. But yeah. it's the buy. But that buy, that's significant, isn't it? And you and save yourself yeah. you save yourself 50, 60 odd K as well. Mm. That's so. an interesting one. Mm. Uh yeah, geez. It is a tricky one with what you can do with that. Um obviously if you're still talking about that um play, George Wardlaw for around fifteen is still cheap yes um you can still be doing that obviously didn't score as well as what he did the we- first week but Look. 51 there it was against collingwood there yeah. you so, go it was against collingwood there's no harder team to score against nah. so went, we just have to take that any issues though no he didn't no. <laughs> so wardlaw he got a handy little plus 12 in the last minute too oh wow did he? <clears throat> to get to that jeez right uh let's have a look then at the issues for other people okay Cal, you've got sicily yeah is there a world that you can hold him? Yes. Obviously, too. They may challenge and he may get off from here from the time of Just, recording. We're assuming that he's out. I'm assuming that he gets off. No. So what – if if you can hold, you hold. Mm. But I can't hold because I need an extra body on the field this week. Do you? So I just can't go down. Artie Jones – we'll have a look at it later. Artie Jones will be my 18th player if I sit Sicily. 
Oh. So I need another premium on my field this week. But he's missing two of the next four. Like, that's the thing. When you, that's look, another when you word thing. it like that. Yeah. So he, he already <laughs> knew he was going to be out one. Yeah. But. Yep. So he, yeah, you can hold him if you think you've got enough dots to cover. Mm. But I think now's a, we've had a ride. <laughs> okay. It, it's been a journey. And it's we've had it ups and we've had our downs. Was it ever going to be any other way? No, it wasn't. <laughs> so the thing that sucks though, Cal, because he had around fourteen by, and you're probably structured in a way where yeah. obviously you're thinking he's going to be playing there. Does that affect your decision making? Yeah, look, he can. Yeah, for me, I just have to trade, and he can go. Yeah. The problem is with him though. I thought he'd be worth oh. more than that. He's only eight seventy eight, and that's going up sixty k this week. Mm. In what world can you trade someone out uninjured <laughs> after a one sixty? In the world of the sick dog, the sick dogs and buyers combined, hundred percent. So, but you're right, dog. By saying that he has, <clears throat> um, he's missing two of the next four. That's that hurts. It, that sounds it, like a lot, and it is going to be a bit team dependent of what it was. Like for example, like if he was missing the round thirteen buy. Yeah, we've probably got the players. Yeah, you would probably hold. I, th- I agree with you a hundred percent there. Yeah. Yep. So you'd wear it this week, and then next week he's counted as a nothing. Yeah, because you're gonna scrounge together nineteen probably anyway. Yep. So if you wanted the like for like for buy rounds, then Dawson's the obvious one. If you don't have him, yes. So bad yeah. miss. Uh, yeah, he's Jira, a wish jet. I had. He's, he's so good. Jet. Ten tackles on the weekend too. Mm. Um, yeah, he's a guy I'm looking at. Um, but when I had a quick look at my buy, and it's only Monday morning, I haven't had a real good look at it, as you would imagine. Um, Very eyes. The, the round 15, bringing in a guy from that as a defender appears to be the play. So I'm very heavy like you, Roy, in round 15, but it's midfielders and forwards. Right. I don't have – I've only got one defender missing in the, in the round 15 buy, and that is right. Sheasel. Right. So – by bringing in someone like Doherty, he can just sit with shoes on the bench. It actually doesn't affect me. No. Whereas if I get others, then I'm going to have a bit of an issue with too many defenders to play. Oh, God. Yeah. So, yeah, I have what been... What are the chances of that? I have been thinking about it, Roy. Good on you. Yeah. Thank you. That's why I scored I, like I do. I still challenge your counting. That's probably my biggest thing. <laughs> I've got to count to six, you moron. How hard is it? If uh, I stare at my buy structure too long, I do genuinely get confused. You know those magic eye things? <laughs> the, the, yeah. the pastels do I it stare at it, you know, on the buy yeah. plan, and it just merges into, into what? Yeah. What shape do you see? A dog. <laughs> A sick dog. <laughs> <laughs> now, the other one, Roy, is Darcy. Uh, Sean Darcy. So no one's got him. This is the thing. He, in a way, you're blessed. <laughs> because yeah. you don't have because that you got 30 was but awesome. He this week of buys, you weren't going to have a ruck, no, at all. Not even your bench ruck. Now There's I'm another on issue there, old mate. Um, what was <laughs> our McAndrew? We probably could have talked about him as not being. He's not going to be there this he's week. He's not available now. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so what? What are the plans? Like the obvious one right. is you can go to whichever big dog you don't have yes. out of English or Marshall, yeah. And most which, likely it's English in most cases, yeah. Which would take a lot of money to get there. It'd be Come over two hundred. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, he's fourteen percent ownership. Who? Darcy. Didn't you know? People no. have got him, mate. <laughs> I thought you were on a little island there for a while, right? No, it was nah, because mate. you were on an island, and that was <laughs> and a way to We went it. off together to a new island. He was the vessel, right. Right, now it's, <laughs> yeah, he leaves a, a gaping hole in our side. He sure does. <laughs> <laughs> um, a massive so, size hole like, from the grass. <laughs> but like you said, dog, um, there is options. So going up, yes, definitely, but then you, you're spending 200 like yeah. you said, on a dude that's going to miss. Um, yeah. So... Turning it, oh God, don't mess around in the ruck department. But hey, if you're on the island with me, let's mess around. Right. So you've looked at some options, haven't you? What have yeah. you thought about? Don't do oh, it. I'm, Throw your names out. I'm there. sickly <laughs> obsessed with this. I refuse to just do what I should do. Oh, no. Now, okay, the first one, and I'm ticking it off. <laughs> Briggsy. Uh, wow. Okay. So Briggsy is a huge cash grab. Huge man. Where we can put that money on. Maybe even a rookie who's not playing, and you could get to someone in a different position like Greenwood or Humphreys, like to get us through the buy. Okay. So Does he, Bruce exist anymore? 
No, 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 not really. So I'm looking at Briggsy here. One eleven and eighty four in the last two yeah. weeks. Okay. Yeah. So mm. Briggsy is very serviceable, and if nothing else, he will make you a heap of cash, and you can get him out um, right at the end there if you want. Depending on your buy structure, he could eventually go to English the week after. Yada yada yada. Right. So Briggs is a play. Five hundred and forty k break even of seventeen went up fifty odd k yeah. last week. So if that gotcha. suits, if that suits your structure, tick, massive tick. I'm not ticking anything, but I'm enjoying the ride here. Keep right. going. Okay. Now this will sicken you, <laughs> cow. <laughs> Stop doing it then. No, no, because you were onto something. Who? And it got derailed. Currently, where I'm looking is Witsy. Yeah, <laughs> the Russian. Because he doesn't have a buy coming up, in my eyes. Yeah. Because he's got the round 13 buy, dog. Right. What do you think? I thought you'd like that one. Ah, uh, I don't mind the uh, the thoughts and the strategy. Yeah, but stupidity to do it. Totally in my hitting zone. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> Just so I'm not even island. going to throw randoms out there. Um. Like Nank is someone, but you're paying up for Nank. Oh, he's so good. Now, he's just, he's bloody good, all right. Um, but no, that's, they're my two options for it. Okay. So that's w- where we're going, Islanders. Yeah. So Come with the, me. At the moment. Just got to get through that big wave and. <laughs> where are you, where are you, we <laughs> free. So you singing Moana songs. Yeah. <laughs> um, doing this. Where are you sitting? Between those two. Right next to Wilson. Are that's you? where I'm <laughs> yeah. Sorry. You're not getting out past the Where race. am I sitting with those two? Yeah, which one? Um, four buys. Big Witsy's coming for the ride with yeah, me. Yeah, okay. I think. Look, it's a journey. I reckon. <laughs> it's a great journey. But um, if you have low expectations, then he's your man. Look, no. Witsy's up in the soap again this week. Yep. You know what that means? Hit out, hit, hit out, out, hit out. Hit out. He'll hit have out. another 50 for me. He will. And then it's one week down of the three or four that I'll hopefully have him. So he's up against uh, Riley O'Brien this week. Easy. Yeah. He's got the giraffe hit out. Yeah. Eek. So that's what we're doing, team. So we've gone from one island to the next. Yep. And I can see another one on the horizon. <laughs> now, just uh, before we wrap up the uh, buy strategy trade talk, which I don't think we've actually really nailed any. Oh, look, oh we have. No, look. we have. Oh. We've got some. But is there a play where you're taking coin into next week? If you if you can do that, yeah. that is gold. Because mm. then you are targeting those Brisbane Frios and Kilda Sydney guys. Yeah, and there's plenty there's plenty there to pick are from. There, though, that's the thing yes, that I'm is. worried about with some of these guys. Actually, like who is there to target? There is still plenty. So from Brisbane, obviously Dunkley, but everyone would already have him. What about a Lockie Neal who turned up again? Yeah, even he turned attention. up again. Yeah. Frio, you've got your Sarong, your Brayshaws. You can go into a bit of Luke Ryan There's action if you wanted to. There's plenty of good options yeah, there. Yeah, there is. St Kilda. <sighs> Jack Steele. <laughs> you know, you could oh, do it, could you? No, nah, not But yet. maybe, hey, off his buy, he might be freshened up. True. Sinclair. Sinclair. Mm-hmm. You're not touching them. And then Sydney. The, in- the interesting thing is they're all really good names. <clears throat> the Frio boys are like, they're proper yep. prime. But the other guys... They're ones that, without the buyers, even though they're going all right, we probably wouldn't do. These, I'm going to say... But Rocky yeah. Neal, for example, yeah, yeah, yeah. buy time yep. takes these me back to teams, China game These six teams days. that we actually have here aren't great for no. launching into. No. Yeah. You've got like those four teams, and then you've got Gold Coast and Geelong, who we at the moment can't even... F- Find no. someone that we want. No. No, and you're if you are launching, I you're can. launching into someone with that uh, you've got low confidence on, like a Noel Anderson mm. or Jack Steele. Uh, um, <coughs> who? Jared? <laughs> Witsy. Witsy. <laughs> I'm fully oh, confident well, in Jared. No, you'll be right. I know. Yeah, he's, he's good. He's you good started man. with him. Yeah. He got you a 130. 137. And now you're showing him nothing. No, I'm showing him everything. Disrespectful. Past player. player. Great player, mate. Great player. I'll, I'll tick that off. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Let's have a look at what coaches are doing for uh, this round with the early trades ahead of round 12, first week of the buys. And we've got Orson Mullen. He's the most traded in player at the moment. Nice and cheap defender, obviously. Josh Fay, if he can stay in the side and not on the vest, he'll be great there as well. Hobbs, Humphrey and Rory Laird are the most traded in guys. Oh, decent options there. Yeah. And then the most traded out at the moment, people are offloading by players in Ashcroft, Wilmot, Sean Darcy, who has a bye, but also the injury. And then we've got our two boys there, Atkins 
and Fiorini oh. is oh. what we are oh. looking at. Right, let's have a look at what <laughs> our trades entail at this current moment. Calvinator, you seem to be the most planned up by player out of the three of us. Sure am, mate. I am going out. I'm going Sicily, Ashcroft and Chesser. Yeah. And bringing in Doherty, Greenwood, Mullen. Oh, looks like you're getting good players there. They're great players, mate. I don't like dumping How Ashcroft. How many players will that mean you'll have this week? It will means I'll have 18 good players and then Artie Jones, 19. <laughs> Artie could get you a 30, though. <laughs> Two right, he might. Uh, <laughs> right, I am moving on. Wilmot and Sharp, who have the buy and done their job as cash cows. Yep. And Atkins, because I feel like he may not be there. Coming into my side will be Mullen as the cheap one. But Humphrey and Hobbs, so sort of mid-price, but okay for buys, especially yep. with Humphrey. Oh, it's a bit awkward. But anyway, that's hopefully going to set me up for uh, the next couple of weeks as Hobbsy. well. Hobbsy. Hobbsy, finally oh, getting him. Welcome. Two weeks later, welcome. hundred and whatever thousand dollars. Top dollar. Far out. Well, <laughs> Top dollar Hobbsy. He's still <laughs> super valued. He's worth every cent. Um, out of my team, Darcy, Wilmot and Longy. Okay. And in come Big Witsy, Hugh Greenwood and Mullen. Right. Yeah, pretty good damn trade. Too right it is. For the buys. What's the chance that you stick with those come Thursday night? 84.9%. There you go. 84.9% of stats are made up. <laughs> <laughs> Got a question for the traders? Tweet the boys at AFL Fantasy or head to facebook.com forward slash AFL Fantasy official. All righty, Sam Parry's got this one. Is Rowan Marshall to wits? to upgrade Wilmot to a better defender, a good move. Hey. Means potentially 22 <laughs> starters on field this week. 22! Yeah, the rest of your um, No, nah, if what? you're already in a position like that, hold Marshall. Yeah. 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 No, nah, don't do that. I see what you're thinking, but I don't think long-term you... No. And want if you've Marshall got, out of your team. If you've got that many green dots, yeah, you don't yeah, you're don't. you okay dots. without that. Yep. Uh, now, Tim Rosen has this one. Now that the rat pasta, and that's oh. with emojis, has become a rat and the poo emoji, <laughs> do we hold them if they are selected True. due to the good buys or just abort the mission and accept that they are useless as cow, <laughs> as useless as cow pronouncing the name Crips? Say Crips. Crips. I think you did Crips. it right there. Yeah. Oh, I've got um, a speech impediment, Tim. Back off. Right. Okay. Harsh. So, <laughs> if, they're both, me that. if they're both named, oh, we have to hold, don't two, we? Two right you hold. Despite Yeah, the there is a play, though. Oh, I agree. I, if you can do it, mm. if you could see the back of them, you'd be a happier person. You're counting them as a dot, but they score 30. Yeah. That's not a dot. Right? Right. That's why Artie doesn't count as a if dot. They were, if they were playing back at home or any other ground in Australia... I'd have a lot more confidence. I reckon keeping them. They'll be right now. Mm. They'll be right. They'd be used to it. Yep. They've had their run. Better for the run. Isaac Smith's got this one. Sick dog misses the next two or three. Muzzle him. Yes. He's got to be muzzled. He's got to be muzzled. He's got to be sent to the pound. Straight to the pound. <laughs> Straight to the pound. Is he an option bringing off his buy? Have a look. I, I don't want to go into a massive conversation here about the scale of hardness. Is he microchip? Uh, yeah, he is. Has if, he been desexed? If, There's a lot of questions yeah. about the dog that we need to know. Oh, he's so angry. <laughs> if if found, please return. Um, after his buy at around about ro- round eighteen ish onwards. Okay. Hey, we will be sitting here. You're we'll, saying he's cheap. He's not worth enough. Well, he will coming up uh, in round eighteen onwards. He will have the best run for defenders coming home. There's St Kilda in that again. Now, Carol, he will be back. You have told me this before. There's not a player who matches yes. the scale more so than Sick Dog. Like, if you ever doubt the scale, yep. it's basically He's made for a. Sick Dog, isn't it? Yeah, exhibit he, A. 100%. So, sick. The four, his four worst scores this year are against mega red teams. Right. Yeah. And then he comes out and does that against St Kilda. Yeah. He, he a fits mega it, green team. He fits it perfectly. Yeah. So, therefore, round 18 onwards is where we'll be bringing up the pound and seeing if they've got any stray dogs. <laughs> and we can maybe a adopt one again. Play. Sticky, former uh, Amazing Race contestant. Yeah. Oh, this one here. Celebrity. Uh, do we bring Dow straight in or give him oh. a week? Look, Sticky, he's obsessed. He's as obsessed with Dow as Dos. Dos. <laughs> yeah, he's um, a Carlton supporter. Three hundred and seventy-seven. That's cheap. so cheap. He's very. He had one twenty last week. Do it. You can't NFL. do it. If there's ever a player you need to watch. 
that's him. I think Sticky should do it and let us know how it goes <laughs> <Yeah>. after a <laughs> week. <laughs> lads, lads, if you can field 20 this week, is it worth trading in a player that's on their buy? Ooh, we've, t- so remember we've this. always talked about Every this Every year this comes up. I love this. Okay, so Brayshaw is the example to use there from lads, lads. He's a safe one to get in. And then we always go, oh, what happens if he gets injured during the week? You know, it never happens. Couldn't. Oh, it does. Uh, tell you where the issue with that is, is, is with rookies. Was it Ned Reeves a couple oh, of years ago? Oh, that was it. Just, uh, yeah. Well, he must have had I a massive that. gun game and he was a rookie to get. Might as well get him. There's your avenue to cash, yada, yada. Two weeks was a long and time then, in footy. Yeah, as, as I've said. Team resets. It resets. Yep. It resets. Can someone like Brayshaw, though, what chance of injury? So obviously, Brayshaw is a different story. So if you look, I reckon if you look you at your, don't like spending that coin. No, though, that's the other side of it. Yeah, like, I think if you're looking at your team and you've got 19 green dots and they're like 19 elite green dots, mm. right? Mm. I think you can do it. He serves you well for the next yes, what three rounds of it? I think you can do it if you like how your team is looking. Yeah, 20 is pretty good. Oh yeah have this week. Damien's got this one. Hey, champions, love your work. Sandy Bay Dogs here, ranked 927. Cool work. Would you consider McRae over Bont this week for a little bit of cash gen plus 200k going into the next week, then trade him out at round 15 because you're heavy on that buy? Yes. Uh, yeah. You can consider it. And but I feel like you're getting someone like McRae because you want him as a keeper. Though, especially as, well, as a forward. With that forward status because he's a top six forward. Is he a top six forward? Oh, right? <coughs> I crunched oh. the numbers. Tomorrow. It's going to be a bit of a um, blanket, I reckon. He's going at 97. Yeah. So He's going at 97. You, and I, I don't mind you talking yourself into that trade by saying you'll get him back out then. He His CBAs were up. Yes. He's every chance to get to there and you'll be like, there is no way I'm trading him. Mm. Now he's doing this again. It's interesting because his CBAs, as you said, were up. Uh, Bailey Smiths were down. Yeah. And old small potato, Caleb Daniel, popped in for 31%, which was his is down from the previous oh, week as well. So you, you just got to see, you might not want to trade him out depending on where Bevo sits yeah. over that three weeks. Agree. But do you get him over Bond? It's, it's probably a no for me. Bond's the only one with a safe role at mm. the moment. There's not many really good, reliable captain options at the moment. No. Bond's one of them. Does seem to be, doesn't he? He does. Every week gets it done. Oh, well, Bont's in this question from Jimmy. Please rank Walsh, Bont, Andy Brayshaw, and Petrarca. Oh. Let's go Walsh and Bont to start with. It's Bont. Bont. Where does uh, Andy Brayshaw sit in that? Well, he sits ahead of Bont still, just for okay. me, but I don't know why that is really. Yeah. And Petrarca. Last, he's last. I would have. I'm with you, Roy. I, I'm happy to go. Track has got that little bit of value, I suppose, doesn't it? Yeah, he? I'm happy to go. Brayshaw, Bont, Walsh. Yes, the track on that yeah. one. Yeah, Bont is really nipping at the heels. That was a complete takeover. Yep, there. But I'm going to give Brayshaw one more. Yep, not Jacob's that, not got, that he can prove himself this week. No. Jacob's got two <laughs> questions: trade or hold Noah Anderson? If you've got him, you hold him. You hold him. Yep. Yeah. Then he's got, is Andy McGrath a play? <sighs> dog. He's been all right. This Andrew. is yours, dog. All yours. No, but. <laughs> <laughs> it is a no, is it? That's no, a well, couple no, of good he's scores. Cheap. He is cheap. He is doing now what you got him in to do. Yep. And looks like he wants to he's get the ball. Yes. 600, 687K. 687. It's unbelievably cheap. And he's gone 93 he's, in his last three. Yeah. Yeah, but that's a 94 and 117. It's still only a 69 the week before that. But they do have a good fixture. They've got North but Melbourne this week. In I'll the be the judge of that. North so, Melbourne in the Carlton's good. Uh, it is. You don't need to get bloody your colours out. To, uh, uh, that's good. North Melbourne's dropped in the last couple of weeks, dogs. And have they? <laughs> yep. So Dropped what? The uh, not ball. as many points. <laughs> dropped heaps of scores. <laughs> uh, it, it's not. You should see he's run after the boy. Bad. Oh dear. No okay. good. A lot of red there, Roy. So, All right. Oh, Roy. So what? Is it a good option or not for the you gotta answer no, the guy's no, question? No, I couldn't. It's do not that. a good option. There's other right. better players to get. Yeah, well, I think cheap. Um, Matt really? Allen, which son goes first? And this is all directed at you, Destroy. Matthew, ah. Matthew Allen, the Ruckman. Yeah, yep. must be. <laughs> he was one of um, my favourites back in the day. Powell, Atkins, 
or Fiorini? Oh, Roy, he got the trifecta. You did this to him. No wonder my rank went up. <laughs> Send um, all correspondence to okay at Roy DT. Word it for me again, please. I need to Who focus. Who goes first? Right. Pow, Atkins, or the pastor? I don't think you'll get the choice. That's right. And Stuart Dew is making that decision for you. There you go. Rat goes first. Uh, right. Thoughts on Darcy Cameron? We didn't talk about him as a ruck no, option. No, he is. He had is about an 80, option. didn't he? Yeah. So he's back in. Um, it's, a, it's a play, but I'm not launching into it as excited as I was back. Um, mm. So what Chops has got here is basically can also DPP with McAndrew over the buys, but... That may not be the play that you think it is because McAndrew, obviously with a bye this week, mm. could be out next week. I think he's I gone. Around. He's gone. He's gone. He offered nothing. So while that was nice, if you will confirm that McAndrew was staying in. And and the other side of it is and could score right. He's at 18. Like, yeah. you're, yeah, not, I know. you're not taking a... Um, That's a zero. You're not taking a Cameron to be trying to chase that, no, are you? No. So what, what hurt there? Was it the fact Hickey can't do anything else? Other than Ruck, was that yeah, a problem? Yeah, because that was Hickey's first one back. It was, it? yeah. No, nah, he's gone. Oh, yeah, he's gone, all right. Um, but as far as Cameron goes, yes, he's an option, but I've I've never been huge on Cameron when Cox is playing well. Mm. So I'm just looking at their CBAs last week. Cameron came back. Uh, he, he's gone 67, 77% in his last two. Well, that's good. Which has affected Cox, who was around the 70 mark, down to 30s and 20% time. Well, those percentages give it a bit more of a tick. It's more of a, a real 70, 30 split at the and moment. And that's, that's what you want. Yep. That's all right. Yep, I tick it off. Now, the question here was, could you go Samson Ryan? It cost you about 100k by the looks of it, to Briggs for your bench. Oh, wow. Roy? Um... Obviously, some buy thinking there. So but he's got I the wonder how many games you'd buy. get out of him if mm. you got two games over the buys for him. It's a lot of coin to be investing there, isn't it? But then that's the perfect round fifteen type trade out, dude. Yeah, that's what he's thinking. If you're getting two game, if he's hit your field twice in the lead up to round fifteen, Willie though. What, let's go with the most popular combo, okay. Marshall and English. He's not hitting your ground. No. So that's a no then. He's hitting you, that, sorry, he's hitting your ground this week, once. sorry. And then he's not hitting your ground. No. If he's if he hits your ground twice, it's I think worth, you could yeah, justify it. You could. Yeah, it's still it's a big investment though, I feel like. Yep. If you're oh, spending a hundred grand on that. He could go up a hundred he could go up a hundred grand in that time. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I don't mind it. I'd, yeah, I would definitely consider it if you get two games out. Josh has got this one on a question we sort of talked about before, but have 316k for an upgrade. Do I use it now or wait to get brace your next week? You wait, brother. You wait. You definitely wait. If, you you've, can, got, if you've got the dots, then you wait. That's yeah, easy. Okay. Yeah. Is keys an option? 19 centre bounces up from three last week. Why did this happen? Pretty much because of the roll, wasn't it? Like it was the, the tag. Role. He was on um, Neil, wasn't he? Yeah. So the question is, does he have players coming up to tag? I guess he's got Noah Anderson. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's got Tim Kelly. Then he's <sighs> then he's got his buy. I know. We're str- if they stretching do it, it. Now, if they I, do it, that's, that's the, the problem. problem. They don't. Yep. They're not one that just do it. They don't just say who's the best. I'm doing it. Yeah. They pick and choose. They, they do. They? And when they don't pick, you are left with a very subpar score. 100%. So he's 564K. He's down 300,000. <laughs> like, if you're ever going to risk it, it's the time through the buys to do it. Yep. Um, but, God, you'd want to hear that he's going to be tagging each week. And to, has a role. Yeah. Charlie, please tell me not to be seduced into holding Brad Crouch. <sighs> he hasn't been good. This is the time to trade him. That, <sighs> that's a good excuse. He's got the buy. He's got to go. He was good last week, though. I think he had like a 110, 112. Yeah. Didn't mention Nank. Is Nank a chance for the rolling 22, Roy? Um, he says. No, I mentioned Nank. I gave him a bit of love. Um, but is he a chance for the rolling 22? Not no. really. He's been good. No. But he's... He's going, um, at, he's going at 107. Yeah. So Breakout. He, he's um he's the third ruck. There is a keeper league trade offer out there. Oh, for there you, is Roy. too. I'll have to... Uh, What's the... I offered who? Butters and Rosie. And Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'll take that. You do silly things when Drape is your first ruck cow. Too right, I bet you would. <laughs> He's a legend, Drapes. Uh, right, 
Yeah, is it time to get Luke Jackson? Where does he sit as an option? Roy? That one comes from Henry. <clears throat> yeah, he's a consideration. But we need to find out um, how long yes. the big Darcy's, Darcy's out, for, yeah. out for. 702k for him. So he's nice and cheap. We have seen when he gets free reign as a ruckman. Yep. We saw it when Max was out last year. He I, can go really well. I just think that Darcy's not going to be out for as long as we think. No. Mm-hmm. We've seen this before. And... I took note of where it was on the hamstring. It wasn't one of those nasty high hamstrings. Oh, was it a low one? It was a lower, which you can get over them a bit quicker. Especially if you've got a big hammy like he does. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, where was that one? Johnny wants to know, has Roy sent anyone to Moron Mountain yet this season? Ah, oh. uh, it's a good question. It's just too many. It's not enough room. Tell you what, I haven't, and I'll restart. I'll get uh, the rocket ship out. Please do. Yep. No, there's a few people that need to... Have a trip to the mm, mountain. It's a very good point. Yes. The mountain's back. Yeah, good. Is Mason Redman a legit option? Dog, that's He's you. good to watch. Um, that's a lie. Yes, he is. See the big red dog. He's the real dog. Yeah. Oh, please. Big red dog. He's epic. They like him. He's gone He's, <laughs> he's gone three gone times. Just pushes right. forward. I, and just, I lie. He is good to watch. Sorry, dog. Three, Sorry, Essendon. Three tons in a row for the red dog. A legit option. Why did you get So the answer is yes. McGrath. Over here. <laughs> he would go to the pen one day, wouldn't he? Red dog and sick dog. Yeah. Oh, I'd love him to go head wouldn't to head. It? I'd have a great day in the pen. Oh, imagine the sound. Yeah. <laughs> it's that button. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. We've probably got enough here because we've been going a long time. Um, our mate, Day, he said it's going to be a long podcast. And yes, it was. Um, he's Sorry, pretty, mate. He's pretty happy with himself. Is he? Inside the top thousand now. Well done, son. He's saying thanks for the help, boys. Yep. You're welcome. See, it's hard to climb rank dog when I come pump out a massive score two two three seven. Right, <laughs> I can't climb rank when I'm just handing out brilliant information well, every know. week. You do deserve. You, he does deserve a lot of um, advice and good advice from us or you specifically. Yep, because he does have to edit your fantasy ready article. Yeah, sorry, mate. That is not <laughs> something anyone. Speaking of dogs' really breakfast. <laughs> That is exactly what that looks like. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back on Thursday night for AFL Fantasy Live. Um... 6.15. 6.15. Yeah. I trying to think. Thursday night. Thursday night. Thursday night. You can catch it on. last Thursday night as well, actually. Catch it on uh, 6.15, <sighs> Thursday night, afl.com.au, or you can tune in via the AFL Live official app. Didn't work last week, though, that and issues. You can also catch <laughs> on Facebook as well. Wherever you listen to podcasts. Yeah. Oh. We've put that up there. Well done, Cal. That Thank was you. awesome. You're well like done. a good You're voice actor good or something. Too right, I am. Oh, God, it's a big teams this week. Oh, massive. Fiorini, Ratkins, watch. Oh, Come no. on, fish. Give us some Why good did news. We do that to ourselves. It was always going to happen. Thanks, Junior. <laughs> we'll catch you next time.